New model technology has recently taken the server by storm. Chloe looked into the technology's history and recent calls to regulate it. From Wolfhaven City's iconic metro, which has drawn countless players and visitors to the server over the years, to Cordelia's far-reaching mainline network, an essential mode of transportation linking the player-owned claims on the world, to the trains in Stalingrad running up and down the server's main commercial hub, it would be difficult to imagine Wolfhaven without minecarts, or even without the train cards plug-in. From custom resource packs adding train operators logos on the cart metro network of Fred Haven to discussions about more train-like alternatives to the train cards plug-in, countless ideas have been proposed throughout the years to make the minecarts look more like trains. Even before the introduction of new model technology, in early 2019, Following the introduction of attachments in a train cart's plug-in update, proposals had been made to retexture minecart textures and train models, though these suggestions were shelved after having been deemed inflexible. Helper Gucky Gux, known not only for building the beautiful city of Odaki, but also first came out with his own design for the new mo model technology, dubbing it Model Zero. He was able to prove that the new model technology could certainly work on Wolfhaven, though a more widespread implementation of new technology was at the time hindered by certain challenges. This, however, did not stop Gaki, as he did go on to create even more models, adapting a train model for use in Odaki. We spoke to Gaki earlier this month. Hello and thank you for joining us, Gaki. Uh, recently, there has been a lot of discussion on a particular thread of the uh, hashtag city building channel on the Wolfhaven Discord server, particularly after you shared pictures of realistic looking curved tracks in Odaki uh, using a resource pack. And on that subject of making trains more like trains, what is your general opinion on new mo model technologies and their future in Wolfhaven? New model technology is one of the biggest changes from the train cards plugin. I am happy to see people have begun to use these features to create many wonderful systems. It benefits from great freedom on defining rolling stocks and railway tracks. I think from other methods of importing models, new model technology packs are only to be used inside servers to work. For this and other reasons, best for players' convenience, I think the resource packs should be designed into one server pack. Indeed, indeed, more and more players are starting to get their thinking hats on with their own designs, and perhaps it would be a lot more convenient when there are more designs to compile them into one pack, solely for Wolfhaveners. I have a question about your first design, the Model Zero, which we briefly touched upon. So why didn't Wolfhaven decide to adopt the Model Zero, or rather uh, new model technology in general for uh, Wolfhaven City or Fifth Haven yet? Perhaps you could better explain to me what sort of challenges were faced? I think the new model technology can be traced back to Fourth Haven Metro. There was an idea to create a resource pack for the server, but it would be unfitting for the rest of the minecart system since all of the cards were changed to Fourth Haven's metro delivery. Worth mentioning is that Sortex Fember was suggested for playing on the server, but the majority at that time preferred the freedom of the game appearances over having a specific one for making it official. The other reason is that Fourth Haven standard is only designed for minecarts to run on. It will take much effort for the overhaul to make it compatible. As for Fifth Haven, apparently, experimental bus models and trains are already underway, and Capital Monorail rolling stock has begun its operation. I think if we can overcome these challenges, we can see a wide variety of systems running in Wolf Haven. I'm sure there will be many more designs coming out as players solve these problems and make NMT's further possible for everyone. To help players who want to get into designing their own models for their own train systems, I'm curious to how you make these models and 
Perhaps you could tell me the process behind each of your models. Say, in terms of designing, and if you have any tips you could give to the players. New model technology packs are only acceptable in JSON files, which can be made with software such as BlockMensh. Since Minecraft Java only accepts JSON files no more than 3x3x3 blocks range, and how render engines in-game work, splitting a train car and making modular parts will make your train work better. Apart from that, it is quite simple to import models to a resource pack. I suggest that using textures over colors gives better visuals for your models. And there you've heard it from Gucky. Thank you for joining us. Notable other NMTs include engineer Look It's Benji's trains, which were commissioned by owner Silverwolf around 2019 and introduced in 2020. Other players such as architect Little Doggy 2 had their go at designing their own models, which are currently in use in the colliding claim of Barcaster and fellow claim owner Mr. Minecraft 142 Freeze Croxley. Thus far, the most widely used can be said to be Gucky's Fifth Haven Capital Monorail Pack, which was implemented in April of this year and came to prominence due to the monorail's importance as a focal point in this year's Wolfhaven 10th anniversary celebrations. With the increasing number of NMT models and creators, concern grew over the lack of guidelines regarding the technology's use, prompting President Silverwolf to invite fellow Wolfhaveners to discuss whether it was time to introduce, quote, guidelines or regulation. For more on this, we talked to President Silverwolf earlier. Thank you for joining us, President Silverwolf. To start off with, why did you primarily decide that the new model technologies needed some form of regulation? Right, so I didn't primarily decide that the M NMTs needed some form of regulation. In fact, talks about NMT regulation have been brought up multiple times in the past. So um, the original basis for the regulation for NMTs was to provide for better organization and collaboration within the community as uh, certain resource packs uh, we might overlap with each other. So um, each, each model is tagged to a specific item in game which is actually rather limited. So we really wanted to avoid any form of like overlapping or conflicts within the various resource packs that were going to be on the server. Now that we have really seen quite a lot of uh, NMT packs arise, uh, with download links to them being very hard to find or being all over the place, the primary, the primary reason why I suggested regulation was to allow for all members of the server to be able to gain access to these uh, resource packs with relative ease. Uh, we wouldn't want the NMT packs to eventually become a way for certain members of the community to ostracize others or force things of, like uh, memberships upon other members. So this is why I think the regulate this is the main goal of the regulation to begin with. That is certainly a very fair point with all these packs coming out. If I may ask, what is your general opinion on new model technology, particularly the ones that the community, the Wolfhaven community have made? And do you think will we we will be seeing more of these become commonplace soon? So regarding the current uh, NMTs on the server, yeah, they are definitely much better than what I could have ever created. I have not really been able to explore the creation of these uh, models for NMTs myself due to several time constraints. But overall, I am really amazed and pretty inspired by the amount of effort and dedication that members are putting into the development of these packs especially uh, looking, at, so looking at the level of the thought and quality that has been put into many of these packs to begin with. So um, whether we will start seeing these uh, NMTs more commonly around the server is really up to the community. Um, things such as the infrastructure which these NMT vehicles are supposed to run on still need to be built in the first place. So it really is down to how far Wolfhaveners are willing to develop the Gardalia and Kalidia claims and the amount of effort they wish to dedicate towards building it. And uh, seeing this amount of dedication is extremely heartening and it only uh, motivates me to keep running this server and this community further. You mentioned that it's really up to Wolfhaveners that have the will to adapt their Gardalian or Kalidian claims in order to support the models in terms of, say, Wolfhaven City, 
Fifth Haven and other creative survival worlds. Are there any plans being put into place for more sort of official resource packs? And if that's the case, when may we be able to see these? So the Fifth Haven world was planned even before the introduction of NMTs to feature infrastructure that is uh, wider in general. So this was primarily done to support a possible conversion of the world to be used with uh, popular mods such as the real train mod where the vehicles in the in the mod are about three meters wide and uh, the world will be available the modded world will be available as a download link to the public to allow them to enjoy it for themselves uh, but with the introduction of nmts into the server since uh, 2019 and seeing the development and possibilities that the nmts can do we are definitely planning for this to be potentially uh, officially implemented as an official resource pack um, however, we will need to be careful and uh, strike a balance to consider players who do not have uh, computers which are as powerful, hence there is a limit to the level of quality that we can um, introduce for this uh, official pack itself. And uh, as of now, uh, admin Josh is doing an amazing job uh, developing many NMTs, not only for his uh, own Gardalia claim, but also for the, for the server in general. So when the server, when the world is ready, when Fifth Haven is ready, I think that would be an appropriate time to introduce it officially into the server. And uh, if you really want to have a quick preview of what NMTs can do, you can hop over onto the the Wolf Haven YouTube channel and view other the videos. I believe uh, Josh recently uh, released a bus ride one, which features an NMT bus uh, across that uh, goes around the capital. So yeah, that is pretty interesting and it's really exciting to see uh, what NMTs can do for our server. We'll all be looking forward to what's to come. Thank you again for joining us.